Good morning, YouTube family. The glare on the glasses is real. How is everybody doing today? I'm already bored out of my mind and it's 1030. Yes, I am getting ready to clean. This kitchen is a disaster. Dishes in the sink. Yeah, real life. Real life here, guys. Um, so I need to do the dishes. I need to get the girls started on schoolwork. I let them wake up. They're not in the best mood when they first wake up, especially Ava. Ooh, child. I get them breakfast, of course, as soon as they wake up and let them eat, do some iPad time just to, you know, get themselves woken up a little bit and get the grumpies gone, as I call them. And then um, I get myself ready and now I'm going to get them ready and we're going to start on school. I don't like to jump into it first thing in the morning because I need to wake up. I need to get them woken up and I just don't want to have miserable munchkins. You know what I'm saying? So everybody is eaten. Thankfully they did not wake up at 630 as they sometimes do. They woke up at eight o'clock today and I was up at 730. So um, I uploaded a video very late last night for you guys because I was trying to upload it like all night and it just wasn't processing. So I ended up falling asleep and then when I woke up at like 2 a.m. it processed. So I just uploaded it when I woke up because I can't sleep for like more than four hours at a time usually because of my back. I have to wake up and readjust and stretch because it hurts. But anywho, enough about me. So as I was getting their worksheets printed today, I literally just bought ink for my printer. Now it's a very small ink cartridge because it's not a very big printer. It's just a small HP scanner printer and the ink cartridges are really small. So the black is already out and then both of those together were like $80. So <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing, I printed off a lot of worksheets this morning before it died so from now on I mean I'll buy black ink eventually but I'm just gonna get ideas from the website and I have a big chalkboard for them I'll do it on the chalkboard or give them blank paper and write stuff out for them whatever I gotta do but we're gonna get started on school I'll bring you guys through a little bit of that and then um, I'm gonna get laundry started. A couple of you have requested cleaning videos, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of my cleaning, not like major cleaning. As the day goes on, I just do different rooms and clean as I go, um, mostly because I can't just go in the living room and like scrub it down because the girls are in there literally destroying it as I'm cleaning it. Let's get the laundry out from last night. another load in. Oh my goodness, you're so strong. You got it? Yeah. Wow, look at you go, girl. Good job. <laughs> Laundry done, check. Well, started, <laughs> I gotta fold it all. Then put it away, which will take me three days. <laughs> if I'm being honest. This is the last one that's clean. Every day, every day, it's a fight with Ava because she does not wanna wear shorts. She does not wanna wear pants. She only wants to wear skirts and dresses. I only have so many of those. Obviously I can't go to the store and buy some right now.
girls just realized we have a package outside. So, Miss Tina, thank you so much. She did email me and let me know something was coming. I have no idea what's inside. So, let me go get a knife and we'll open this bad boy up. Okay. Let's see what's in here. We got a frozen puzzle. Oh, lip balm. Oh, a glitter tattoo kit. I always wanted a new tattoo. So there we go. Dotsies. We got some princess nail polish. Got a Sophia the First puzzle. Bath bomb surprise unicorns. Oh my goodness. Another one of those. A seatbelt shoulder pad. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. <laughs> oh, it says, hey, Miss Shannon. Sorry this is so late getting to you. You don't have to apologize. Oh my goodness, she sent us toilet paper. <laughs> hold on, just hold on, let me read this. Just some stuff for the girls and you and one thing for the haters. Stay safe and let me know if you need anything. Take care, Tina. P.S. Feel free to put this on your channel. Oh, you're going on, girlfriend. And I'm guessing this is for the haters, the seatbelt shoulder pad. <laughs> So everyone knows I'm wearing my dang seatbelt. All right. Ooh, a manicure set for the girls. They each got a super soft unicorn pillow. These are adorable, and that will go perfect with their room. Unicorn headbands. So cute. Sparkle art. They love those. What's this? Oh, a crystal growing kit. Awesome. And we got a DIY figurine, which is a unicorn. <gasps> unicorn hand sanitizer. Oh, checkers game, Disney. <laughs> Thank That's you. awesome. Ah! Two unicorn hand sanitizers. Uh -huh. Oh, you got cozy socks with stars and unicorns. Unicorn stickers. <laughs> this will keep them busy. Another lip balm. Another pair of socks. EFF sticker bracelets. Includes 116 holographic stickers and five adjustable paper bracelets. So that is awesome. And some more makeup. We got some lipstick for the girls. More paper bracelet making. Another figurine that they can paint. Thank you, because I'm running out of crafts. More of the Dotsies. Another lip balm. We're set on lip balms. And then we got some lip smacker lip balms. This one is Disney Princess. Another penguin lip balm. A unicorn lip smackers lip balm. Ooh, 3D socks. It says born to sparkle. Oh my God, how cute is that? And it's like a little horse with hair. <laughs> Another lip balm. Another lip balm. One's another unicorn. Mom, a lip balm. <gasps> Sugar cookie chapstick. Oh yeah, baby. Pizza party card kits. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Mom, Tina. One more, one more thing. Another manicure set for the girls. That is awesome. Thanks for the TP and the seatbelt cover <laughs> and all this stuff. Look at all this. This is awesome. So many, so many things the girls can do. Tattoos, puzzles, painting, checkers. Oh, let's see what's in the bag. Oh my goodness. She sent me yeast. <laughs> girls are so excited about all this stuff. I'm excited about the yeast. <laughs> and the toilet paper. Oh my gosh. What do you say to Tina? Thank you. So thank you, Tina. We can do some more crafts Mama, today now. Yay, because we just ran out. <laughs> Mama, can, I, can, I, can we do this? Yes. Oh my goodness. Show the camera. Oh, so cute. Now that is adorable, Mama, can I is do it not? This? Ah. Thank you so much again, Tina. That is so absolutely sweet of you. I honestly can't thank you enough. That, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just don't know what else to say. Like, I'm so blessed to have you guys. It's unbelievable how blessed we are. 
So this is awesome. I so appreciate you so much. I appreciate every single one of you that watches my channel, that has subscribed, that comments, emails me, watches my ads so that I can get some money from this. Like you guys all are amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. So let's get back to today's vlog. All right, girls are being entertained from Tina's package. Thank you, Miss Tina, again. You rock. So while they're doing some coloring, I'm gonna do the dishes. I absolutely hate doing dishes, but I do like me some free dumpster dish soap. Yes, I do. The dishes are done, except for that bowl, because I ran out of room. <laughs> so I'm going to let these air dry for a little bit, because I hate drying dishes, and then I'll put them away. It is quarter till two, about, so i got to clean up everything from homeschooling, clean these counters off, and finish cleaning the living room, vacuuming, sweeping, and mopping the floors, because because we have kids <laughs> and that's what happens. Your floors get gross after two days. I literally just swept and steam mopped. Actually, I used, no, I didn't steam mop. I used the, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a hot mess. We need to fix that up. I used the new Clorox mop I got out of the dumpster. It said it didn't work, it worked perfectly fine. So I don't know what that was about, but it worked. So I am probably going to eat some of my apple slab pie <laughs> and then I'm going to get started on our dough for tonight's dinner. I think I'm going to do um, pizza for the girls and I'm going to make calzones for me and hubby because he didn't want pizza. All right. So I was in the kitchen putting the dishes away and the mail came and we got not one but two more packages. So I believe this one is from my aunt <laughs> for the girls. So let's open this one up. One for you and one for you. It's a color your own water bottle, LOL. <laughs> it's all the rage. Yep, it comes with four ultra bright markers and you can decorate your own LOL water bottle. How gnarly is that? What do you say to Aunt Shell? Thank you. Thank you, Shell. Love you. All right, let's get the other package. Mama, this one is Is this one heavy? This one is from Rose Coleman. Let's see if I can open this bad boy up because she really taped this sucker up, man. Cannolis. 20 minutes later, I'll get it open, I swear. Mama, can we talk to you? Oh, yeah. They're, they're more concerned with the bubbles. Uh-oh. I think I know what this is. Oh, my goodness. She sent me yeast. <laughs> I have so much yeast now, I don't know what to do with myself. That's awesome. Oh, and we got a letter. Hello, Shannon and girls. I hope you and your family are doing well. It's a crazy world right now. I'm afraid it's soon to get worse before it gets better. Amen to that, girl. I want you to know I love watching you on YouTube. You are a down-to-earth and tell it like it is. Straightforward, to the point, don't ever change. Shoot me an email when you get this because I know mail might be slow. Take care and God bless, Rosie Coleman. Thank you so much, Rosie. This was so absolutely sweet of you. She did send me an email and let me know she was going to be sending me some of this. And I've actually had a few other people email me and say, Hey, I got some extra yeast. I'm going to mail it to you. And I've told you 
no, don't send me any because I knew people were going to be, well, I knew she was sending me this. I didn't know that Tina was sending me some too. So I appreciate everybody that's reached out and said they would send me some, but I think I'm set now because this is, I think one pound. Yeah. 16 ounces of yeast. Plus I have that other jar, which that's amazing. I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. So thank you so much, Tina. And thank you so much, Rosie. I appreciate you ladies. Let's go make pizza crust now because I got tons of yeast. Get started on our pizza dough. It's a two page process here I have written down. This is my best homemade pizza dough recipe. I need to combine one cup of flour with one packet of yeast or two and a quarter teaspoons, one and a half teaspoons of sugar and three quarters teaspoon of salt in your bowl. And I'm using bread flour. You can use all purpose. You can use bread, whatever you want. I've never tried it with like a coconut flour or any like almond flour or anything like that. So I don't know how that would turn out, but you know, I know how it would work with bread and I know how it works with all purpose. I just prefer bread, cr bread flour because it just gives it a more airy crust, I think. A packet of instant yeast, which I think this is one of my two I had left, so thank goodness you guys sent me some, Tina and Rosie. You guys are too sweet. All right, so we got our yeast and one cup of flour so far. We need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna do a half and a quarter. Then you need one and a half teaspoons of good old sugar. One and a half. And then if you want, you can add in at this point, you can add in either an eighth or a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder or even some dried basil leaves. I'm not doing that. Then you're gonna add your olive oil, which you need two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using my dumpster olive oil. One and two. And then you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of warm water. One, two, and three. We're gonna stir this together with a wooden spoon. So we're just gonna stir this around. And don't put your flour away yet, because we ain't done. Then you're gonna add another cup of flour and add any additional flour as needed. But total, you're gonna need about two to two and one third cups of flour. So I'm going to add another cup. And then you just wanna stir this until all of your flour is combined and it forms into a ball. Of course, you're gonna to have to put down the spoon and use your good old hands. So you just wanna stir all that flour in until it's no longer sticky and it's forming into a ball and pulling away from the sides. Now that all of your flour is combined, if it's sticky, you can go ahead and add a little bit more flour to it. You don't want it to stick to your fingers, but you want it to be a little elastic. All right, now we're gonna drizzle our bowl with olive oil. You can cover it with plastic wrap or a clean kitchen towel, which is what I'm gonna do. And you wanna let it rise for at least 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and make another batch of this because I want a double batch. This that one full recipe I gave you, that makes one pizza crust about an eight cut, like a medium pizza per se. So I need to make a double batch because my husband could eat one medium pizza to himself and my girls will eat one medium pizza to themselves. 
So I'll bring you guys back after these rise. At least I'm gonna let mine rise for probably 35 to 45 minutes. So I'll bring you back after they have risen and we punch them down and get started with the rest. I mean, it did definitely double in size, I think, but it just hasn't, you know, poofed up. If I would leave it for like two hours, yeah, it would rise more, but you don't need to because it's pizza dough. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dough out and we're gonna use the same flour, which I use bread flour, and we're gonna flour our surface. Oh, look, the hole is popping off. That would have been a hot mess. <laughs> You're gonna punch your dough down and then we're going to knead it for about three to five minutes. So I'm just gonna work my dough out. wanted to learn how to do that. <laughs> we ain't gonna try today because it's gonna end up flying on four, my luck. As you can see, it's stretching a lot easier now. I'm getting a little bigger. And if you ever run into the problem where it's not stretching, just let it rest for a few minutes and then come back to it. Now, if you had cornmeal, you can dust the bottom with some cornmeal. I do not, I am out. So I am just gonna take a little bit of bread flour. And just lightly rub it all over. That way your crust doesn't stick. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna push to fit. And of course, it doesn't need to be perfect. Now, we are going to poke holes in it with a fork. This is so you don't get huge bubbles in your pizza. Now, for sauce, today I'm just using some tomato paste because we have tomato or pizza sauce in there, but I'm not real big on it because it's made with sugar and I don't like sugar in my sauces. Some people do, I do not. But all you need to do is take some tomato paste, add your seasonings and some water to thin it out and then you can actually freeze the rest of this. Take about a tablespoon, eh, probably two. And we're gonna add our seasonings. A little bit of garlic salt. A little bit of Italian seasoning. A little bit of garlic powder. And you can use fresh garlic too if you'd like. And a little bit of pepper. And then you're just gonna thin it out with some water. And stir it around. And there you go. Cheap, easy pizza sauce. All right, so now you're gonna take your sauce and you're gonna put it on your pizza. And you are going to put mozzarella. Top it with your cheese. I also usually add fresh grated Parmesan, but I'm out, so that ain't gonna be going on. My kids like plain pizza, but I'm gonna put a couple pieces of pepperoni just in case hubby changes his mind. And he wants pepperoni pizza for lunch tomorrow, then he can have some. My kids are weird. They won't eat cooked pepperoni, but they'll eat it by itself with cheese and crackers. I don't know. Don't ask. I don't know. You're going to pop that into a 450 degree oven for 13 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is all melty and the crust is golden brown on the top. <clears throat> and... What did I say, 450? No, 425, sorry. 
425 degree oven. <laughs> I'm giving you the wrong instructions, Lord. 425 degree oven for 13 to 15 minutes. And depending on your oven, I have a gas oven. So those that have electric ovens, this may be different for you. You may need to leave it in longer or less. I don't know, it all depends. But just keep an eye on it after about 10 minutes and you'll know when it's done, whenever all the cheese is nice and melty and the crust is golden brown. Now I'm gonna start on the other dough and we're gonna make calzones with this one. This one did not come out nearly as nice as the first one. Lord, look at this. What happened here? See, my kids come in, start talking to me, and I lose track of what I'm doing. This one will be mine. <laughs> look at how nice the first one is. And then look at this one. What am, what am I doing here? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And I forgot to poke holes. Dang it. Get your olive oil. We're gonna put this in the same oven, 420 feet. Oh. You guys are used to this by now, so I, I don't gotta apologize, I know. Anyway, you're gonna put these in the same oven, 425 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes. Um, you just wanna make sure your crust cooks evenly on both sides. So, Abby loves coleslaw, so I'm gonna also share, bonus, I'm gonna share my coleslaw recipe with y'all. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? Now we are fans of like Long John Silver coleslaw and Kentucky Fried Chicken's coleslaw. So if you don't like that kind of coleslaw, you ain't gonna like this one. But I wanna use this before it goes bad. And voila, there is your pizza. Does that not look freaking amazing? Calzone's in. We're gonna let this cool for a moment and then we'll slice it up for the girls. Give it a try for us. Give it a taste and let mommy know what you think. Look at how good that pizza looks, guys. Look at this. Perfectly cooked pizza. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me know what you think. One thumbs up, two thumbs up. Best pizza ever. You know the deal. Um, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Miss Ava, what do you think? One or two thumbs? Two. Two? Oh, no, no, 100. 100. 100. Let's get started on this coleslaw. You do not need many ingredients. Also, we are Miracle Whip people. Ah! Yes, we are. So if you are a mayonnaise person, then just substitute mayonnaise where I say Miracle Whip. That's all. But we like our Miracle Whip. So all you need is Miracle Whip, sugar, lemon juice, vinegar, salt, and pepper. That's it. So good. I know, it isn't right to talk with my mouth full, is it? All right, so you're gonna dump your coleslaw in the bowl. You are going to need half a cup of your either Miracle Whip or your mayonnaise. And it is gonna seem dry at first, but let it sit. The longer you let it sit in the fridge, the better it is. Two tablespoons of white sugar. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And one tablespoon of vinegar. And literally that is it, other than salt and pepper to taste which I do a little, 
of each at first and then go back and taste it after it's set for about three hours and taste it again. Then you're just gonna mix everything together in the bowl. You just need to let it sit and rest in your fridge covered for at least an hour, I would say. But it's better the next day. And voila, you got coleslaw. So I had the calzones in for 13, 14 minutes. And perfect, they do not stick. Yes, bottoms are cooked. Get that, that is exactly what you wanna see. So we got our pizza and our pepperoni and cheese calzones for dinner. And Hubby gets a side of coleslaw <laughs> because that coleslaw needs to get eaten and he better eat it. And that is it guys. That was pretty much our day. I'm gonna finish up my laundry, eat my calzone, and do the next load of dishes because <laughs> my sink is full again. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out in my kitchen again today. I should probably change the name of my channel right now because <laughs> I'm no longer really dumpster. I mean, I am still dumpster diving, but you know, there's really nothing for me to get out of the dumpsters. I should change it to like cooking with Shannon or something. <laughs> I have been thinking, some people have said, you should get another channel. I've been throwing around the idea. So I don't know, maybe I will. If you guys think any cool names, write them down in the, in the comments below. And we'll see. Maybe I'll do a second channel. I don't know. Um, I know once this is over, though, I'm definitely going to go back to dumpster diving. I mean, I may throw in some of these videos here and there, but I'm definitely going to go back to dumpster diving. Don't worry. Whenever this is over. But for now, you're stuck with me in my kitchen. <laughs> but all right, guys. Thanks so much again for hanging out with us. And as always, happy diving. And now, happy baking. Bye, guys.